Hey, welcome back to the Hill Creek Barbecue Channel. I'm Brian. Today we're going to be making this barbecue chicken calzone. Stick around. All right, before we get started talking about the uh, Baker Stone pizza oven here, I want to first talk a little bit about this grill and why you should consider buying your next grill from a dealer instead of a big box store or online. So the backstory, times change, and when the wife says you can get a new grill, you buy a new grill. And I sold my old grill. My new grill is on back order, and today is Memorial Day, so I called up my dealer and they uh, told me that it was on back order beyond Memorial Day, but what they did do for me is they stepped up and they said, we're gonna give you a loaner grill to use to get you through the holiday weekend. You're not going to get that going through a big box store or online. So I'd like to personally thank today's Home and Leisure, Barry and uh, his wife Michelle and their family. They do great work over there. Never had a had an issue with them. So if you're in that Harrisburg area, definitely check out today's Home and Leisure because they will take care of you. All right, let's go ahead and start talking about the Baker Stone pizza oven now. This uh, pizza oven is going to require a full size uh, grill, so definitely check your measurements to make sure that this will fit on your uh, grill before you buy it. But with the Weber Genesis, you're not going to have any problems at all. Front to back, it's a tight fit. You're going to have to take the warming rack out to get it to fit in. However, however side to side here, even with this, the new uh, Weber Genesis leaving room for this smoker box on the side, you got plenty of room side to side to fit this pizza oven in here. Before we put this on though, we got to pull up the grates and remove the flavorizer bars from on top of the heating elements. Those uh, flavorizer bars are what keep the juices from hitting the direct flame and flaring up and, and diffuse the heat throughout the grill so you don't have hot zones right over top of uh, the burners. With the pizza oven, we don't want that diffusion of the heat. We actually want the heat to come straight up inside the oven because we're going to get this oven super hot, 600, 700 plus degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and get those uh, removed and then I'm going to take you inside and we're going to start building our barbecue chicken calzone. All right, so here we are inside. We're going to get our uh, calzone ready to go. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Pillsbury uh, thin crust pizza dough. It's a holiday, I'm not getting too complicated here. Um, just make sure it's thin crust. We're going to go ahead and cut this to size with our pizza cutter here. You want it? Um, the Baker Stone, I believe, will handle a 13 inch pizza. You don't want to overdo uh, what your pizza peel can handle because if you can't get it in and out of, of the pizza oven, it's not going to do you any good. So we're going to cut this down to size. The Baker Stone is great for personal size pizzas, maybe uh, to share between two people. Uh, everyone gets a couple slices, but it's really great. Fun time, you get a couple pizza peels and someone can be inside making a, another pizza while someone's outside cooking theirs. Today we're doing a calzone using some leftover uh, smoked chicken from the other night and we're going to be using our Dimples barbecue sauce for instead of pizza sauce we're going to use barbecue sauce and we got some red onion here, some ricotta cheese and some mozzarella and we're going to go ahead and get this put together. So I got my pizza crust cut down to size here but I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it off and set it off to the side here. Because the first thing we need to do is we need to put some cornmeal down. Because if you don't put the cornmeal down, you're going to have a really tough time getting this off, off the pizza peel and into the pizza oven. So we're going to put down a lot of cornmeal here. So we don't want this thing sticking. Uh, so it will turn into a disaster if, it, if you don't get it into the pizza oven and without it splitting apart. Uh, the other thing this is going to do for you, it's actually going to act as a little bit of an insulator on the bottom of the pizza crust inside the, the pizza oven and it's going to help keep your your pizza from overcooking underneath before the top cooks. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our barbecue sauce here. The dimple sweet barbecue sauce is great for this. Such a such a good barbecue sauce. I highly recommend you check these guys out. All right, now we're gonna take our red onion, just a little bit of red onion here. 
I'm gonna take our chicken. Let's get a bunch of chicken in there. This is great for leftovers. And we're gonna take a nice big spoonful of uh, ricotta cheese there. Get that in the middle. And we're gonna take our mozzarella cheese. I don't know about you, but I love a lot of mozzarella cheese on my on my pizzas, and it goes good with this with this calzone also. So we're gonna load up a good amount of cheese. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quickly is the uh, temperature of the the pizza oven. You don't want it too hot because you don't want the outside of your calzone to to be done before the inside gets a chance to cook because you'll end up with raw or undercooked cheese inside and you know thick done crust on the outside and that's not going to taste very good uh, you don't want it to be burnt on the outside just to get your your insides done now you want to make sure you seal this up real nice because uh, you don't want your toppings to ooze out inside of your pizza oven because that's going to make a mess for you to clean up you want your toppings to all stay inside you want to if you're making a pizza you want a nice layer of crust uh, between the toppings and the outside of the outside edge of your of your pizza all right we got that centered on our pizza peel here so let's go back we got our um, calzone out here what we're going to do is we're going to just insert our pizza peel and we're going to kind of just gently work the calzone off of the pizza peel using our pizza spinners here uh, these are Cuisinart pizza spinners and uh, pizza peel I'll go ahead and leave a link in the in the video description below to uh, all these items that you've seen in my video today purchasing anything uh, through those links helps out the channel and I really appreciate that so let's go ahead and see how we're doing here with our calzone so now you're going to use these pizza spinners to kind of reach in you're going to want to use one in the to in the back of the calzone and one in the front to just kind of turn it a little bit because your uh, your heat in your pizza oven is going to be hotter in the back than it is in the front so we're going to go ahead and keep an eye on it as it's uh, cooking here and we're going to spin it as needed uh, as it's as it's cooking so take a peek all right while we're waiting there i'll talk to you about this e-tech city i think it's, that's how you pronounce it infrared thermometer this one here is rated up to 1022 degrees so all you do is you pull the trigger point it inside and it gets you a, a real accurate reading of your internal temperature right now we're sitting at 601 degrees you have to watch out some of these aren't rated to go up as high as a uh, thousand degrees uh, but I'll leave uh, again another uh, link in the description of this video to where you can pick one of these up they're real uh, inexpensive and great for an application like this where you need to uh, adjust your temps they're high temps but you, you might need to dial down your, your burners if you overshot your your target temperature the Baker Stone has a, a thermometer up here but it's analog and it just has some pictures it doesn't have any temperatures on it so I wouldn't recommend going by that but um, in a pinch you could probably definitely get it, the job done all right so our uh, calzone is looking a little brown in the back so we're just going to turn it here gave it a, a full 180 degree spin there let's take a look inside here see what we got going on got a nice brown looking color there again I just turned it 180 degrees but that is a nice golden brown color there all right let's, uh, let's spin it again see what we got in the back all right the back's looking pretty good now optionally what you could do if you wanted to you could load up some uh, wood chips here or if you got uh, an older version of the Genesis you can put a pellet tube down the bottom there and run some pellets and try and get a little uh, wood flavor into here 
and just run a little bit lower temperature so you have a little bit more contact time with the uh, smoke and you'll be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing pulled out. It just slides right under there. Look at that nice, nice color. We got no leakage of our, our cheese or any of our toppings out of here. So really no mess to clean up inside the, in the pizza oven. It's, it's ready for the next pizza. All right, here we are. Let's uh, go ahead and cut this open and see what we got inside. Yep, our um, toppings are nice and melted inside. So let's go ahead and uh, take a bite. Let's get some of this uh, ricotta here. Right in the center, we got that nice big um, dollop of, uh, of ricotta that we had. So let's take a bite and see how it tastes. That's really good. You can definitely, you get the barbecue flavor, you get the ricotta and the red onion. A little bit of that mozzarella. It's a really good tasting calzone. And I definitely recommend that you give this a try again. Go ahead, try out the Dimples barbecue sauce. A little bit of, uh, I used Killer Hogs uh, rub on the chicken. Uh, cherry smoke flavor. I definitely recommend you get it yourself a Baker Stone pizza oven and give this a try. That's all I have for you today. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Maybe if you have a pizza oven, leave a comment below of a recipe that you and your family really enjoy. So that's all I got. Have a great day.